Hey my babies, what is up? It's your girl K Sui and I am back with another YouTube video. No way, that's Casey Way. So in today's video, I have something very exciting to film. I'm so excited. So yes, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a room tour of my apartment at Prairie View a and &M. So I'm a transfer student. I came here spring 2024 and um, I wanted to make this video because before I came here, I was doing my, you know, my research and I could barely find any videos. I'm like, okay, what do these like off campus places really look like? Like online, they show you one thing, but like in person, and like I need to see what it actually looked like like I need to see space I need to see you see what I'm saying and what I found was not enough for me so I was like you know what when I go there when I move in I'm gonna make sure I make this video because I know there's other girlies out there like me or boys out there like me who like to do a lot of research and I want to know exactly what they're moving into so that's what I'm gonna give you guys in this video so okay so I stay in Pepe Hill Apartments it's an off-campus apartment complex and it's literally if you drive it's literally like six minutes four minutes if you really couldn't have speed and if you don't drive that's okay because they also have shuttles that come and they pick up the students and they take them to the campus as far as my unit i stay in a two-bedroom y'all and um it's me and my roommate jaleesa she's so sweet y'all so um, baby i was i was happy i mean it ain't nothing wrong living with three other girls but i just know me and i just know what i prefer either one roommate or no roommate so that's just the way it is so my rent per month is 725 per month <clears throat> first of the month <clears throat> if you get financial aid and you get your refund check i highly advise that you just go ahead pay the balance off so you don't gotta worry about it you do have to split an electricity fee with you and your roommate so um that comes out like the 22nd of every month and then water is taken care of parking is taken care of um as well as like the gym the pool you could use all that stuff and trash as well take your trash to the dumpster the parking here y'all the parking here is actually not that bad i feel like it depends on whenever you come like it's pretty much always a spot you either just gonna be really far or really close by luckily i stay close to the front so like as soon as I come in, like, I usually see a spot, like, right there. You know what I mean? So, but, like, if I come home, like, from the gym, like, really late, it will be kind of filled up. So, I have to park a little bit farther back. Everybody typically parks where they stay. Like, if you stay in the back, they're not parking all the way up in the front. So, it's, like, everybody pretty mindful about that. My classes are also very early, and they end very early. So, I mean, I don't have that much stuff to do on campus. So, if I go to class, I come home, I go to the gym, I come right back home. I don't really be doing anything. Like, I always just find my spot pretty early. You come anywhere past like 10 p.m., baby, you might as well go ahead, book it, book it to the back. As far as like maintenance issues and everything, um, there was a couple things that I had to ask for to get fixed. Like far as like the door handle, I had something going on with like my toilet. As far as like maintenance, they pretty much handled it pretty good to me. I mean, hey, they came in, they did what they need to do, and they dipped. Some people be saying like, oh, maintenance be slacking. Oh, not for me, boogie. Like they be they be on it. So another thing that's very important that you should note before you come here is that you have to pay for your own Wi-Fi that fire alarm is gonna keep on going off because i don't know how to change it there's no bat like, i unscrewed it there's no batteries literally in this unit the unit i lived in over there it's the same problem but that's what i was saying you do have to pay for your own wi-fi so they do have like a voucher through at&t and i pretty much i think everybody goes through her because we all get the same paper when you move in and you just set up your package whatever one you want to pay for um they'll send you a kit you install it and then bada boom bada bang you get your own washer and dryer whenever i'll show you guys that stuff you know like, oh, i didn't do the dishes that's okay that's okay that's okay y'all understand i just got that from class so chill the people in the front desk they really cool like they be i'll be talking to them everything when i go in there and pick up packages they be very like prominent on stuff they always update us like if anything is going on i will say though as far as like the parking lot it's a lot of potholes y'all like y'all gotta make sure y'all got y'all eyes open when it rains it be flooding so also be mindful of that too Oh, this is a sister apartment. So it's Panther Hill Apartments. And then on the other side is the reserve at Richards or something like that. Those are like just normal apartments. And then over here is student living apartments. So, I mean, you can live at either one. This is cheaper because obviously it's student living. So I'm in my junior year um, of school. And the reason why I chose to stay off campus is because I wanted to have more of my refund check. <laughs> 
to be quite simple. I did because like one, I don't need a meal plan. The on-campus housing child, you need to get in there like five months in advance. And um, since I have a car and everything, I was just figuring like, why not? Like it doesn't, it's no harm. There is no harm. All right, y'all, enough of me chatting. Now it's time for us to get into the apartment tour. Perfect. Hey guys, it's me live in the flesh. So this is our living space area. It looks like we have a lot of extra furniture and that's because we do. I don't know why I don't make the rules here. My mom, she did come and decorate everything for us, y'all. She did an amazing job. And then once you look over to the right, that's when you'll see our open concept kitchen, which is perfect for the both of us. Then when you go down this hallway, you'll see pantry room A, and that's where the washer and the dryer is located, as well as our Wi-Fi box. Then once you go towards the front door, I have the thermostat by my room, and then I have pantry room B. So let's get into this room tour. Period, y'all. My colors was burnt orange, cream, and gold. And my mama, she she ate down. Period. This is my desk area that I have, and then um, I have my curtains that I got from Amazon as well. And then here is my beautiful, beautiful bed. Give it to God to go to sleep. Period. Y'all, I had to bring my box in from home because I literally could not sleep in that little bed, y'all. I worked out way too much. Over here, I did push my bed in the corner because I didn't want it just out against the other wall. I don't know. It was just it was weird to me. This is my decorative wall where I have all my pictures, my calendar, and I got a studless TV mount so I can mount my TV up on the wall. And also another overview of my desk. I have some toiletries in that little gold caddy. And I also brought my mini fridge, some organizers, and also my desk chair from home because the one that they gave me, it did not fit under the table. I also got this rug from Amazon as well, five by eight, because y'all, I cannot do the cold for it. I like carpet. Then I got these shelves from Amazon as well as this wallpaper and I also bought some LED lights as well just to you know trim it around give it a little decor moment. These shelves really was a lifesaver because it's helped so much with the bedside storage. And that's where I store my backpack and I also got some under the bed storage job because Panther Hill equals no storage. Okay now it's time for us to get into this closet. Baby, what closet? Tell me what closet and where's the space, y'all? You have to pack light when you come here, y'all. When I said Pete Hill means no storage, I meant that, y'all. It was easy for me because I live very close to home, but yeah, baby, don't bring your whole life. Don't bring all your clothes. Please keep them at home. You don't have no space. I also got this mirror from Marshalls my first year of college, so I, you know, kept it and put it to use. Now let's get into my favorite the freaking restroom y'all know i love pink y'all and something in my room had to be pink so of course the restroom everything that you see in this restroom either came from walmart or it came from amazon this toilet rack came from amazon for like 24 dollars and it's so resourceful because like i said Pat the hill equals no storage so you have to bring your own i got all my little restroom essentials though toilet scrubber plunger trash can mats everything came from amazon y'all so convenient Even my towels. Only thing I had to install was this coat rack for my used towels. Now the shower, I will say it is a little snug, but it's good enough for one person. That's all you need. You only wash one body. Right? Anyways, my mom made these custom bottles because y'all know she's a custom queen and I got these shelves that go in your shower for, from Amazon. I also had to buy me another shower head because the one I had before was rusty and our water was barely coming out. Next to my shower, I have these organizers that I've kept since my freshman year of college and I also have my vanity mirror that I've also had since my freshman year of college so I didn't really have to buy much. And then on their mirror that they have, they have a little shelf where you can put like all your facial products, toothpaste, toothbrush, whatever you need to do. Like I said, everything that you see that's pink and silver came in a set from Amazon, y'all. Under my sink, I do have my cleaning products, y'all. It's really not much space. And that little drawer that's above them cabinets is fake. And then I have my mirror, and of course, you know, I gotta have the word of God on my mirror. And this is the overview of the restroom. And then on the back of my door, I have my robe. Alright y'all, so that basically pretty much wraps up the tour. Um, I wouldn't say that the whole entire apartment is complete, but I will say my room for the most part is complete. Like I don't plan on adding nothing else. I feel like I've been adding stuff like just bit by bit. It came together so much, so nicely. I literally gave my mom the vision and she was just like, okay, 
like let's do it let's make it home so that's what we did so yeah i do plan on making more pv content because obviously i go here um just like vlogging my experience and just like documenting everything so i'm gonna continue to put out more pv content um but i do think that it's a very good school like i i like it so far i mean i don't even really be doing nothing and i still like it like you know and i feel like me I mean, I'm really not hard to please. It has enough for me, like more than enough for me. Like you may give them, you may need to give them a little push. Okay, I ain't saying everything is just all with the quickness, it ain't. But like for the most part, once it gets done, it gets done. So yeah, make sure you guys let me know what kind of content you guys wanna see or even if you have questions about the school, definitely drop it in the comments. If I don't know the answers, baby, I'm gonna go find it for my way, babies, because I don't play by y'all. So yes, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!